G'day, Sharon. Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to run over this 2016 2.5 litre all wheel drive RAV4 GXL for you. Um, a bit about us. So, Pacific Toyota, we run two large pre owned vehicle yards up here in Cairns. This one being my main location at 251 Mulgrave Road. We do have another location closer to the city. Um, look, as you can see, we've got plenty of stock here. Um, across the road, we do have our new vehicle showroom, Lexus Acan showroom, and our lovely service centre. Look, the virtual tour is basically designed to go with the vehicle in detail. I'm going to point out any marks on the car, anything that I think is a concern. If you do have any concerns with it, please let me know, um, so that way I can see what I can do to address it for you. But look, I'm just going to start on the front corner and work my way around of the vehicle. So just coming around the front bumper of the car, there is a couple of chips on the vehicle, um, as you can see through here. One, two three four five they're very faint um, they're sort of more so from how can you say rocks coming up um, on the good old highway drives um, once again very fine here one and two um, but once again very minor um, coming up to the bonnet itself it does have a bonnet protector on it so your bottom layers here are quite good now with stone chips if they are of concern please let me know I can organize brush touching Brush touching is pretty good, it just sort of reseals them. Um, it won't make it look like new, um, but just makes it that little bit better. Um, once again, very faint uh, little chip on the vehicle here. Um, through here, there, there again. I'm just going to continue to point them out. Um, like I said, you tend to see them uh, quite often on these uh, roads up here. Um, and up this top side there was just another faint little one. So they're all very minor. If they're a concern, more than happy to have a chat to management about getting a brush touch done on them. That way it just reseals them um, and just makes them look a sort of out of sight. Um, just continuing up the side of the vehicle, as you can see, all very clean and tidy, um, very well looked after, very straight lines on the vehicle. Um, with the rubber tyres, um, as you can see, there's plenty of tread, so you're not going to be up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Um, just coming around the rims itself, there's no gutter rash on this front rim. It's all been very well looked after, um, so that's very handy. Just continuing down the bodywork of the vehicle itself, once again, all very clean and tidy. Um, there was a couple little marks just through here on the door, um, very faint but I uh, just want to be as thorough as I can for transparency. This is probably the more dominant area just through here, um, as you can see. Um, but other than that, very well looked after. Just coming into the rear of the vehicle, as you can see, plenty of tread on the tyres. You're not going to be up for a set of tyres anytime soon. Um, as for the rims, all very well looked after. Um, just continuing down the back of the vehicle, um, just the mud flap there. Once again, if you want to get the brush touching, it's just it'll seal that one there as well. Um, so this is all in very good condition for what we tend to see. Um, just for the door card side of things inside, just coming across there. Um, as you can see, all very clean and tidy. No major bumps or bruises or scratches through there, um, which is good. Inside the interior, I'd say, is almost immaculate. Um, it's got the dash mat on it as well, so being very well looked after. You got your screen through there, which has your satellite navigation, dual zone climate control, through to your center console through there. Uh, flooring on the car, as you can see, all very well looked after, like new. Um, once again, same with the seating as well, all through there. Um, just gonna do the same for the back of the vehicle. Once again, all very clean and tidy through the rear as well. Um, just showing you that door card. There's a couple of little marks there, but no real major issues there. Um, all represents like, like sort of new in here. It's been very well looked after. It's real credit to the previous owners of the interior. So all very good through there. Okie dokie, all there, happy days. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna jump to the boot of the car or the back of the vehicle. So once again, all very well looked after. Um, just coming across the back boot there. Um, so as you can see, all very clean and tidy. I'm sort of just coming through. I thought there was a mark there, but there's not. It's just a water mark there from the wash. Um, so that's all very good. Uh, back bumper, this one being the main area where you tend to get um, sort of marks in and out from luggage. It's all very clean and tidy. It's got the rear tow bar on it, which is handy. 
Um, now it does run a full size spare tire in here, um, which isn't standard, so that's quite handy. So you got that full size tire in there. Um, I actually don't know how they did that because the GXL never came out as an option in that. So they must have done that uh, by buying the parts, which is handy. Um, you've also got the cargo blind in there. Now with your boot, you tend to get stuff that rubs up against the side of your plastics through there. Um, so you're going to have the odd mark here and there. This one's pretty good. You usually tend to see them a lot worse than that. Um, so very happy with that. I'm um, sort of just going to zoom back from the vehicle. As you can see, all very clean and tidy. It's a great blue colour, very well looked after. Um, oh no, that came off my finger, that's handy. Sort of just coming up there to the top. And what I'll do is I'm just going to go back down to the roof and then work my way back down the body of the vehicle. Down that pillar there down to the front so all very well through there once again plenty of tread on the tires so you're not coming out for a set of tires anytime soon um, the rims all very well looked after this one has a very faint gutter rash on it um, which is a bit unlucky um, I thought we we're gonna go good for all four rims but um, the front ones let me down a little bit there I apologize um, just coming back down the bodywork of the vehicle once again all very clean and tidy um, now this is probably one of the uh, sort of more scratched areas just through here. Once again, if they're concerned, please let me know. I'm more than happy to have a chat to management. Um, these I can help with the brush touching, which is handy. Um, so that's all that through there. Just coming down the side of the vehicle there. Okie dokie. Just jumping the door card here. Um, once again, the interior is immaculate on the vehicle. Um, so you can see all that through there. All very well looked after as you can see coming through the back of the car um, just from the other side all very clean and tidy um, I'll do the same on this side as well once again all very clean and tidy perfect um, just through the push button start through there um, obviously the pedals through the flooring up to the main driver's seat it's all very well looked after there. I'm just going to jump in the vehicle, turn it on. Okay. So, just getting that set up. So the car's at 101, 525, 1,000 kilometers. Um, so just uh, just clicked over the 100 mark. Um, on top of that, you've got your sort of controls through here for your multi-information display. You've also got your volume up and down and stuff like that, um, which controls your screen here, which is also your satellite navigation as well. Um, so if you hit the, I think it's the apps button, uh, it's interesting. I'd like to see where the satellite, the, the SD card is for it to stop in there. Um, but yeah, satellite navigation will come up there. Um, you've also got your um, dual zone climate control through there. As well as that, you've got your um, USB connectivity, eco, and sports button um, as well as your gear selector now as for the books I've got the service books just here I'll just quickly get to the page that we need to which is this one here um, so uh, it looks like it was originally owned by uh, Tweed Chai Council um, so it's done 99 uh, sorry 9900 Ks is the first one uh, at 19,855 on the second 30,900 on the, on the 30 40 the 50 60,000k service, um, the 70,000k service, the 80,000k service, the 90,000k service, and then that brings me to the 104,000k service, uh, 100,400. So its next service is due at 110,000k, uh, which is quite handy. Um, but that sort of concludes the Bercher tour for today. Like I said, um, the car. Uh, inside is absolutely immaculate. Obviously, I've gone over the few little bumps and bruises outside of the car. If they're a concern to you, please let me know. More than happy to have a chat with management. Just let me know what your thoughts are and we can go from there. But other than that, thank you for your time. Any questions, please give me a call on 0410 839 933. Thank you.